So while we went on a new guitar, um, well let's just say I pulled a couple of strings and I got it for her. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, I'm Zella and I love making miniatures for my dollhouse using mainly cardstock. In today's video, I'll show you how to make this miniature acoustic guitar for your dolls. And as always, I have a free printable template to help you make your own version. You'll find all the infos and the download link in the video, so now let's get started! Well I guess she didn't like it. Cut this part two or three times and stack all the layers together. As usual, I recommend using cardstock from old packaging. The resulting piece should be around 2mm thick. Then cut this strip. And this time, I suggest using lightweight cardstock. Now take a sponge, wet it with water, and press the strip against it to dampen it. This will make shaping it a lot easier. Glue this strip around the edge of the piece we just made. Repeat the same process for this part of the template, cutting it multiple times and attaching the layers together. And if you're using my free printable template, I suggest you use an awl to pierce these tiny holes. Now cut this part 4 or 5 times and glue the layers together. The final piece should be just a little under 3mm in thickness and you'll have to make two identical pieces. Next, cut these three rectangles and glue them to one another. We're gonna need six of these. Glue them to one of the frames we prepared before, like this. Then glue the second frame in place. Now cut this part into lightweight cardstock, dampen it with water to make it more flexible, then glue it around the piece we just assembled. At this point we should have these three pieces ready. Paint them with acrylic paints first, then give them a glossy finish with clear nail polish or a clear varnish. And you can find a short list of the supplies I'm using in this tutorial in the description box. And here I was trying to do a sunburst type finish, but I failed so spectacularly, it's really embarrassing, but yeah. As for the varnish, you'll only need to apply it to the outer parts of the guitar. Also, I didn't paint the inner structure, but later I realized it shows from some angles, so I'd advise to paint it as well. Now that the back, sides and front of our little guitar's body are painted and varnished, we can begin to add some details. Cut this circle into paper and glue it around the sound hole. If you're using my free printable template, I suggest you just draw the circle with a fine tip black marker, using the template as a reference. Also, I didn't personally use them, but I have included a few printable designs for the pick guard, in case you want to add one to your little guitar. To make a bridge, cut this part and glue the three elements on top of each other this way. Then, paint the resulting piece with black acrylics. Now, take a plastic coated paper clip or a piece of white florist wire and cut it to a length of around 1 cm. Glue this little bar on top of the bridge, then cover the entire surface with clear nail polish. Attach the bridge to the front part of our miniature guitar. Make sure that the holes in the guitar match the ones on the bridge. Now, take a spool of white sewing thread and cut out six strings, all approximately 30 cm long. Tape them to a sheet of paper, then color them with gold acrylic paints. Slide each string into the holes in the bridge, and I use the needle to make this step easier. Tie the strings in a knot. Then secure them to the back of the guitar with a bit of wet glue. To make the bridge pins, I use these tiny beads. Slide them over the strings and fix them to the bridge with a dot of super glue. Time to assemble the body of our miniature guitar. And just a reminder, if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine, you can use my digital templates, which you can find in my shop, linked in the description box. And if you're considering buying your first machine, or you simply want to try a new tool, or even just get replacement mats, I have some good news! I just became a Cricut affiliate, so if you want, you can use the links pinned in my comments or description box, and that's going to support my channel, which I would be very grateful for. To make the neck of our miniature acoustic guitar, we'll have to cut this part of the template twice, glue the two layers together, then gently bend them where the dashed or score line is. Cover the neck with acrylic paints, then set it aside for a moment. Now cut this part twice and once again attach the two layers together. Color the edge of the fretboard with a light brown paint and the top part with black paint. Glue the fretboard to the neck of the guitar, then draw the frets with a lead pencil. The distance between each line should increase progressively. 
And if I'm being completely honest, I ran out of space and I skipped a couple of frets. Now use a white pen to add these tiny dots to the fretboard. Lastly, cut the entire piece with a clear glossy varnish. Attach the neck to the body of your little guitar. Then take the strings and fix them to the frets with tiny little drops of white glue. Finally, slide each string into the holes in the headstock this way. Secure the strings to the back of the headstock with a bit of glue. Then trim them. Now take 12 mini beads and color them with silver chrome paint. Alternatively, you can use some sewing pins or flat hat jewelry pins. Glue 6 of the beads over the holes in the head and set the remaining 6 aside for a moment. Next, cut this part 3 or 4 times and attach the layers together. The final piece should be around 2mm thick. Bend the headstock just like we did earlier, then paint the entire piece black and coat it with a clear glossy varnish. Attach the resulting piece to the back of the guitar's neck. Then take the beads we set aside earlier and glue them to the back of the headstock. Now take six small beads and paint them with a the silver paint. In place of the beads, you can also use a toothpick cut into six small sections. Glue the beads to both sides of the headstock this way. Now cut this part several times and glue all the layers together. The final piece should be around 7mm thick. Paint it with acrylics and varnish it. Then glue it right behind the guitar's neck. And our miniature acoustic guitar is ready! If you like this project, well, stay tuned because I have something more coming up! As promised, here's the link to the free printable template. And if you're feeling creative, you can watch this playlist next. It's all about hobbies. And this is all for today's video. Until next time, bye!